everyone! I'm here today with my July favorites. Uh, these are products I've been loving for the month of July and uh, I have a bunch of stuff that I want to show you. I'm going to start off with um, a deal that's coming on with Groupon. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it if you haven't heard of Groupon. Um, basically it's a website that has like flash sales of certain products at discounts or specials and they have services as well as products and Groupon is where I always go to get my Michael Todd stuff especially the Michael Todd um, new you face cream that I think is like $150 if you buy it from Michael Todd but on Groupon it's 25 bucks I have actually bought four or five different um, Michael Todd face creams from them and then also their new you serum I bought in three of them. So I use Groupon all the time. They sometimes have like buy a $5 gift card or for $5 you get a $10 Starbucks gift card. They have all kinds of good stuff. So, so Groupon is actually having its first ever beauty week and they're having a few different specials. I'm going to read you right here what they have. They will have promo codes during this week. Wednesday and Thursday is $10 off massages and facials. Friday and Saturday is 20% off all spa deals and Sunday is 15% off all cosmetic procedures. And there also is a in-house blogger. I will leave her information down below. Uh, she has like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So I will leave her stuff down below. She is the Groupon in-house um, blogger. And her name is Faven the Maven. And so anyways, I wanted to show you. They sent me a big goodie bag of some of the products that they sometimes have. So I wanted to share those with you really quick. Or just the stuff that I've actually tried. That's my favorite. Um, and... One of them is the Rock Your Hair Bombshell Big Hair Powder. I've actually gone through one of these before. It is just a like volumizing powder that goes in the roots of your hair. So this is one of the products they carry. They did send me a, my, another Michael Todd New You. I, so now I have this one and then I still think I have three backups because I bought quite a few of them. So always look on there and I always will post on Instagram and Twitter when Groupon is having Michael Todd on there. Anytime I find out about it, I post it. Um, they also have shampoos. This is Coco de Soleil Gloss Shampoo Conditioner. Um, what else do they have? Ashanti Natural Creamy Shea Butter. And I mean, they have all sorts. They sent all kinds of fun, like great fun stuff. Um, oh, this is the Egyptian Magic All-Purpose Skin Cream. The Ancient Egyptian Secret Magical Cream. I've heard great things about this from other people that have nothing to do with YouTube. Bio Oil, which I heard is amazing if you're pregnant for stretch marks. Um, I'm not pregnant, but if I was, I'm sure I would use that. Uh, I'm excited to read this book. This is The Shark Tales, How I Turned $1,000 into a Billion Dollar Business. I love the movie Shark Tank, and this is with Barbara Cochran. She was a real estate investor, so um, and I used to do real estate, so I'm super excited to read that. So um, if you just check on Groupon, you actually search by like your location if you're looking for services, uh, massages, or I know they have like spa services like Botox and laser hair removal, teeth whitening, all kinds of stuff. Um, then they have products like the Michael Todd stuff, watches, clothes, electronics, um, accessories, that kind of thing. So I will leave the link down below. Uh, they just asked me to let you guys know about their beauty week and since this is a beauty channel and I've used their site to buy beauty products, I thought I'd share that with you. So now on to the actual favorites, makeup favorites that I have for you this month. This is a sad story. This is almost gone. I know this was in my last week's or the week before, I don't think I did a favorites last week because I was going downtown, but the Origins Vita Zing, I absolutely love this moisturizer. It's so amazing. I really want to buy it again, but I'm forcing myself to use some other ones. But this has a nice moisture tint or a time release tint to it. So when you put it on, it has like white with little brown specks in it. And as you massage it into your skin, it gives a little bit of a tint, nothing like a tinted moisturizer. Uh, but it does give a little bit of a tint and I absolutely love it. It is hands down my holy grail like daytime moisturizer and I think I might have like one more use and then it's gone. But this has been a favorite all month and absolutely love it. The primer that I've been actually using for quite a few months um, and I just really really like it and it seems to be never ending. I mean this has been the main primer I've used probably for three months now and it's still going strong is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. And this has 1.7 fluid ounces in it. Most primers I think are about one ounce and I just really like it. I have kind of an oily T-zone but I find that 
if I just put a mattifier on and then I use this, it doesn't make me shiny. It's not too luminous or too radiant. So if you have oily skin, you should be able to use this. It glides onto the skin nicely. It lasts forever. And it's just a really great primer. I notice a difference between using this and when I don't use a primer. So absolutely love that. Been a favorite for a couple months now. Okay, as you guys know, my Paracone MD foundation, obviously massive favorite. Uh, I love that a lot of you guys went and bought this and you are loving it as well. It's just such a fantastic holy grail foundation for me. So um, I'm actually leaving, well, when you watch this, I will probably be on my way back from Oregon, but absolutely love this and I'm bringing this to Oregon with me and it's just such a nice effortless last all day stay matte foundation. I have a first, well, not a first impression, but a review video down below, or I'll link it down below so you can watch it. Um, and then the rest of the month, I use my Smashbox Studio Skin. I'm almost done with these in shade 2.2 and 2.3. I really like these. I find that if I use them too often, it starts to um, not wear as well on my skin. I wanted to finish these up before I really dove into my Paracone MD. So I've been just using these nonstop, and I'm having to put them away for a little bit because I just find if I wear them too often, it starts to just... I don't know, look dry on my skin and not look as nice. So I'm gonna put them away for a little bit, but they've definitely been a favorite and I've worn them um, probably three quarters of the month. Um, and then I've also been pulling this out again lately and I'm wearing it today. I absolutely love it. I love applying with the Beauty Blenders. I don't have any foundation on, I just have this and then the powder I'm gonna show you. This is the Lingerie de Peau BB Cream. It's their Beauty Booster Multi Perfector SPF 30 in the shade Medium. It's beautiful on the skin. Um, my skin is very clear right now. I don't have any acne. I don't have any weird discoloration issues. So this has just been absolutely perfect. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. It blends beautifully in the skin. And then my Urban Decay Powder in Naked Medium. I love this powder. It's so finely milled. And I'm like hit pan big time. Uh, there you go. I've hit pan big time on this one. So really, really love this powder. It's finely milled. It's a beautiful, like silky finish on your skin. Highly recommend this powder. I do have it. This is again in naked medium. I have naked light, medium and naked light, which are too light for me right now. But this powder is just amazing. I absolutely love it. The blush that I've been using nonstop, I'm wearing it today. I've worn it almost every single day this month. It's either a toss up between Naked Rose by Illamasqua, which is the perfect, just neutral rosy pink. It's super pigmented. It looks beautiful. Like I said, that's on my cheeks. And then um, Warm Soul from MAC. This new packaging is awful. I hate it. Uh, this is just a really pretty bronzy, neutral peach color. So it's either like a neutral pink or a neutral peach. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's absolutely beautiful. So. All month, I've either been wearing this one or this one, and I just, I can't get enough of these two blushes. I'm taking them with me when I go. So there's the Illamasqua one, there's the Illamasqua one, and then there's Warm Soul. So really, really love those. My highlighter that I can't get enough of, still this Terra Aura one. I feel bad showing it because I know you can't get it anymore, but I just love it. It's like the most perfect highlight ever. I can't put it away. It's just beautiful, and it's by Guerlain. For, oh, I forgot to show, I ended up biting the bullet and buying another MAC Pro Longwear. I mentioned in a few videos back that I'm like kind of weeding through a lot of my concealers and getting rid of just some old concealers I had, maybe some that are too light, and I just really love the MAC Pro Longwear. It's my favorite. I just, I can't say enough good things about it. And this is an NW20. I probably could go NW25 and kind of mix the two because when I'm tan, the NW20 is a little bit light, but the MAC Pro Longwear, concealer, hands down, amazing. Eyebrow gel is awesome. This is the NYX one. I just posted my NYX video the other day, but I filmed it more towards the middle of the month. So I've been using this for probably about half the month, and it's the NYX eyebrow gel. Waterproof, long-lasting, smudge-proof in chocolate. And this is a perfect color if you have more red tones to your hair. My hair is like a violety red, purple, I, I don't know what translates on the, the screen, but this works perfect. It's super easy to use. It is waterproof. It's smudge proof. It's just so nice and easy to use. I absolutely love it. Much easier to me than the Anastasia pomade and the price point is a lot cheaper too. So I really like that. Some brushes that I'm loving are these Makeup Geek brushes. I'm going to do a Makeup Geek brush video, uh, but I'll have to film that when I get back into town. But some of my standouts are the Makeup Geek Angled stippling brush. I love this for foundation. I love it for blending out concealer. It just blends beautifully into the skin. It's small. It just is awesome. I love this brush. It's 
super soft but dense at the same time. Also, the angled contour brush, I used that today. It's a perfect size brush just to get in there, contour, bronze up your face. It's just awesome. And then the last two are eye brushes, the Stiff Dome Brush and the Eye Blender Brush. I've used these in a couple tutorials that I've recently filmed that you'll probably already see by the time this video goes up, but this is a great one for the crease. The Stiff Dome Brush is perfect to blend out color in the crease. And then I love the Eye Blender Brush for like outer V. It's got a little bit of a um, slant to it, but then it's fluffy at the same time and it just blends outer V color really, really nicely. So I love that. Real quick update of what is on my face. I have a bunch of Makeup Geek shadows on today. Um, my Makeup Geek shadows are a favorite too. I've been using them a lot. This color Unexpected has been like a color I've used quite a bit and it's this really pretty kind of dusty purple. Um, but today I have on Beached Blonde on my lid and then I have like all of these orangey tones in the crease. It's like creme br or Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee, Frappe, and um, what's the other one? Purely Naked. So all of these kind of warmer orange or tone, orangey tones um, and that and then beach blonde in my on my lid and then I have a little bit of mocha which is their matte brown just on the outer V and then for my lips I've been loving purple or purple pink lips more of the pinky purples than like bright magenta or fuchsia pinks if that makes sense I like more of the purple tone lately so I have on fashion boost pro long wear lip pencil from MAC it is a nice kind of purpley pink color and then this Dose of Color lipstick in Dark Secret, which is a straight up purple. And it matches quite nicely to that lip liner. So that's what I have on today. And the rest of the stuff I already told you as far as my face. And my nails, this, these, this nail polish is awesome. I've had it on for, it's been at least a week now. And I have like one chip on this finger and a little bit of tip wear. But a week, no base coat and just this top coat. It's the Milani color statement and this was in imperial purple so I'll have to change it out before I leave out of town but yeah I love that and I love the top coat it stays all day this is one coat of polish I love these nail polishes and um, my necklaces are twisted silver it's the button necklace and the capture necklace and then this is just a green shirt from Target I was channeling my inner Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle today I think so I hope you guys all had an amazing July August is going to be a good month. It's going to be a hard month. I have um, a big day that's coming up, a big final day that's coming up um, in August. So that's going to be a little difficult. My divorce is final in August, which is, you know, kind of a mix of emotions. I've been kind of semi-open with you guys about all of that. So that's um, final at the beginning of August. So that comes with a lot of emotion. Um, a lot of mixed feelings and so uh, yeah the next few weeks are going to be a little bit difficult and hard but um, I just want to thank you guys for all your support and love through this whole journey. Uh, I love reading all of your comments and your like just encouragement and hearing your guys' story and knowing that maybe you've been through something similar that I have that I've been going through um, and just hearing like how great your life is now even though it, you know you had that crappy time in the past so I just want to say thank you guys I don't think I thank you enough and I'm sorry if I don't get back to all the comments and I do want to let you know that I do read every comment and no comment goes you know unnoticed and I just thank you guys so much for sharing yourself with me obviously when you do YouTube you know you're putting yourself out there and you're gonna share yourself with you know 10 people or 10,000 people or 100,000 people but um, the fact that you guys share your life with me and take the time to email me or message me or comment on my videos or comment on my Instagram uh, just letting me know that you're praying for me you're praying for Ethan um, it really means a lot and I don't know why like I get mixed things some people say it's so great to see you happy and smiling and like I, you just seem so much happier but then I get a few people that say I seem really sad in my videos I don't ever think I seem sad I don't think I, I act sad in any videos if I was sad you would probably see tears and I, I can't film when I'm sad so if I come across sad I'm not sad I'm actually doing very well and um, you know 
going through the process of it all and so yeah I am happy I'm doing well it is gonna be in the next couple weeks is gonna be a little bit difficult so hang in there I'm trying to get a bunch of videos up before I leave out of town for a week but I love you guys and I just wanted to take some time a few minutes maybe like five minutes because I ramble a lot to just tell you guys thank you and I love you so I hope you had a great month I hope August is amazing for you I hope you're having a fantastic summer and I think that's all I wanted to say. So thanks guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.